So we saw last time in verse 9 how it's describing here a new song. And I spoke with you about what is new with regard to the work of Christ. It was foretold of old. But when he came, he told his disciples specifically there on the eve of his death, when he instituted the Lord's table, he said, this is the New Testament in my blood. So it has everything to do with the bloodshed of the Lord Jesus Christ and that righteousness he came and earned and established. God imputed when he had finished the work. And I love how at the end of the time around his table before he went to the cross, it says they, and having sung a hymn, they went out. Doesn't say what that hymn was, but I can imagine it would have been possibly one of these songs that was forward looking to what would soon to be of everything from eternity looked forward to that time when he would give him his life on that cross and pay the sin debt of his people and rise again. And so the scriptures speak of the New Testament, speaks of a new garment, that old garment of the law being set aside, the new garment of his righteousness in which his people are clothed, the new commandment. You stop and think about it. What is the new commandment? It's to look to Christ. It's all summed up in one. It's not going back and trying to figure out the old commandments and living by them and trying to do this or do that. No. Christ said the one new commandment he left is that you love one another. Now, when you stop and think about it, those that are the Lord's, they have every reason to love one another. We're not looking at the other person and picking out little specks and, and things in their lives and when we've got a beam in our own. No. You think about what we share in Christ, if Christ has paid our debt, there's no reason to not love one another. Because anything anybody does, we're ten times worse in ourselves. There's just one worm raising its head against another. 